Hey everyone and welcome to the Celebrating Cinnamon series. Uh, today we will be talking about what type of breed cinnamon is uh, so, and why I chose that breed. Uh, so cinnamon is a Lassa Apso. Right now she's being very cuddly. She wants a belly rub so I'll give that to her while we're doing this. So a little bit of a history of uh, the Lassa Apso is that uh, they're basically considered a big dog and a little dog's body. Uh, they are believed to have originated from Tibet and have been estimated to have existed since about 800 BC. Uh, they were generally used as guard dogs for the Tibetan monasteries. So basically they let the monks know uh, when intruders or uninvited guests um, got past the big dogs, which were the uh, Tibetan mastiffs. <clears throat> so they are a breed that was held in high esteem. Uh, Historically, they weren't actually sold, but rather they were given as gifts. Um, it was actually believed that Las Apsos uh, carried the souls of monks who had uh, erred in their previous lives. Um, they were also given as tribute gifts for those who were traveling to uh, China for safe passage. Um, it was a journey that generally took about eight to ten months uh, by caravan, so these guys would definitely make good companions for long travels like that. Uh, so they're a fairly small breed. Uh, generally their height is about eight, uh, sorry, 10 to 11 inches and they weigh about 10 to 19 pounds. So Cinnamon's a bit on the heavier side. She's about 18 pounds. Uh, their fur can be kept long, so almost like a mop. Um, so they have very long flowing hair, but as you can see, I don't keep it long. And I know it probably is not very easy to see from the camera, but they actually have quite long eyelashes. So that's what I love about it. Her, I didn't actually know that her eyelashes were going to be that long when I got her, but they're one of my favorite features on her face. Um, so oftentimes people will get the Lassa Apso uh, mixed up with the Shih Tzu. Um, they do look very similar in that they both would can have long hair, but people do uh, tend to cut keep their hair short. Um, a Lassa Apso's skull is generally narrower than a Shih Tzu's. And also their eyes are less round uh, than a Shih Tzu. So you'll often see that Shih Tzu's eyes um, almost sometimes look buggy. They um, are pretty round and can bug out. Uh, Shih Tzu's noses are generally shorter than Lassa Apso's. Lassa Apso's nose is about one and a half inches long. Uh, also for their body, <laughs> uh, Shih Tzu's generally have a more barreled rib cage and are a little lower slung in the body than a, than a Lassa Apso is. Um, so their fur, again, we've talked about it being long, can be long. If you were showing them, like in like the American Kennel Show or other uh, dog shows, you would generally want to keep their fur long. It's a lot of maintenance, though, to, to keep it long. You'd have to brush on a daily basis to prevent knots and tangles. Even though I keep her fur short, I do have to keep brush her ears and her tail on a regular basis to keep them from knotting and getting tangled. Uh, worst situation would be them becoming matted, which is a pain if they get that way, and I have let them get to that point sometimes. So generally, try not to let it get that bad. Now, cinnamon is kind of a kind of an auburn color, so a reddish brown color, but the last apsos do come in all sorts of colors. Uh, so golden, sandy, black, honey, uh, dark grizzle, smoke, white, brown. Uh, they can be party color. So what party color means is it's basically a combination, any color combined with white. So uh, black and white, golden and white, uh, smoky and white, but always there will be white there. There's also uh, they also do sometimes come in liver and chocolate colors, uh, but if they do come in the, that color, you wouldn't be able to show them in dog shows, um, generally because their fur will match the color, or sorry, their nose will match the color of their fur, and for showings, they require the nose to be black. So uh, liver and chocolate, they would be the same, the noses would be the same color. Uh, <clears throat> so for their tail, uh, you can't see it here, but I'll make sure to put a picture up that shows that uh, they basically have a high set tail that carries over the back so basically it curls over their back and the fur on the tail is long as well um, and definitely you would never want to dock that kind of tail in fact you should never dock a dog's tail in general regardless of the breed uh, that's just kind of cruel um, 
As for their personality, well, as you can kind of tell, she's a lazy one. Um, they're generally happy and can be assertive. Um, any of you who have met her in person will know that uh, last apsos are wary of strangers. So generally, if, she, if it's your first time meeting her or her first time meeting you, she's going to be a bit wary of you and will probably bark at you a bit at first. Um, but once, you've, once she's gotten to know you, then she'll generally warm up to you. Um, but you have to let her do it, or let last apsos basically do it in their own time, get to warm up to strangers. But once you, they warm up to you, they'll basically be your best friend. They will be very happy to see you. They'll want belly rubs and scratches, and they'll just be your, the closest and base, a very genuine friend, really. Uh, but when they first start getting to know you, they're going to want um, a place, a vantage point in the home where they can kind of observe you before they get to before they allow you to get close. So again, let them have their space and they will warm up to you. They are uh, very devoted, but not always the most cuddly. Like right now, she's probably had about as many belly rubs as she will uh, allow for. She does love belly rubs, so when you get to know her, she will let you rub her belly. They uh, can definitely be obedience trained, and, but are very stubborn. So Cinnamon, surprisingly, was very easy to train, um, but she definitely has her stubborn streaks, but is very food motivated, though I think that's a general thing for most dogs. Uh, Last Iapsos actually are generally very healthy dogs uh, with very few health problems. Uh, they can have things that are called puffs, which is just uh, basically like short coughs that have, are very common in short-nosed dogs. So as you can see, Cinnamon's nose is pretty short at one and a half inches. Um, this, can be, this can happen when they get too excited, but it only lasts for a few seconds. Uh, Cinnamon sometimes gets it when she, do, when she gets overexcited, but um, it's nothing to be really worried about. It's something that's fairly common, and they will get over it pretty easily. Um, they can also have some eye issues. So uh, an inherited thing that they can get is something called PRA, which is progressive retinal atrophy. Um, which basically is an eye disorder that doesn't usually um, appear until adulthood. Um, and basically, you'll be able to tell that, that they have PRA because it starts off as kind of night blindness, so they have trouble seeing at night, and it will eventually lead to complete blindness. But it doesn't cause any harm to the dogs. It won't hurt them in any way, and there's not really much you can do about that once they do go blind. They can also suffer from dry eye. Um, later in life, uh, but that's something that can be managed, uh, usually with uh, uh, medicated eye drops from the vet. Don't use your don't use human eye drops on dogs, uh, just like you wouldn't use other human medication on dogs. And then another thing that they can have in terms of eye health would be uh, something called cherry eye, which is something that you can see um, early on, even early on in puppyhood, which is basically um, an enlarged enlargement of the uh, nictating membrane in the corner of the eye. So you, it's very obvious you'll be able to see it, the, the cherry eye. And that's something that can be treated uh, with a method called tucking. Uh, it used to be that when they were treating uh, cherry eye, they would actually remove the gland that was causing the issue. However, by doing that, that would actually lead to dry eye later on in life, so they don't practice that much anymore. Uh, also because they do have a longer body, and it is lower to the ground. They can have back problems when they get older, which is very common in dogs with longer bodies. Uh, so basically, you just want to make sure that uh, you are careful with your dogs, making sure that they don't jump up on high furniture and stuff. However, Lassa Apsos are a mountain dog because they are from the Tibetan region. So they do like climbing and jumping on things. Uh, so I have been giving cinnamon things like glucosamine to help with her joint and muscle uh, health so that hopefully she will avoid having back problems. I mean, she is 10 and a half years old, and I have not had any health issues with her up to this point, so I think that she is doing quite well. So that's a bit about Lass Apsos, and she's basically kind of my ideal dog. Um, I love the fact that she is a bit of a wary dog uh, in comparison to other dogs. I didn't want a dog that was going to basically run off with any person that passed by and wanted to be friends with them. So. Basically, I didn't want Doug from Up. I wanted a dog that was going to be more cautious and would make a great small little guard dog, and she has definitely been that. 
So I hope you liked this video. I will definitely be sharing more about Cinnamon, why I chose the breed, uh, more about her personality and what it's like a day, in the day in the life of having Cinnamon in the house. And I hope to show some videos of her doing tricks and some other things. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll see you soon. Bye.